Hey everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am beyond excited that you are joining me on McCarthy Math 155. You know what? You are the reason that I am here. My mission is to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you. But you know what? You play a role in this too. Your job is to make sure that you are plugged in into every single lesson. So come on, let's go ahead and jump right into the Mathematical Mindset Creed to get our minds right. This is a safe place to make mistakes. Mistakes help me learn and grow. I am a hard worker. I stick with it until I get it. I am brave. I take charge of my learning. I ask questions when I don't understand. When in doubt, I draw it out, if possible. And it's always possible to work it out. I respect and actively listen to the ideas of others. We are ready to learn. Alrighty then, let's get to it and let me teach ya. Hello everybody and welcome to McCarthy Math 155. This is the third grade edition. We are on day 20 and we are going to be continuing our journey with addition and subtraction, but most importantly today, we're gonna to be working on subtraction. So let's go ahead and get started with number one and number two. Not together, we'll do them individually, okay? All right, so we have 841 minus 57. So what we're gonna do is take that first number, the greater number, 841, and place it on top. And then 57, make sure we're lining it up. So the five here is in the tens place. The seven is in the ones place. And now we're gonna start from our ones column and subtract over. So we have one minus seven is, we can't do that. We need to take one, give one. Take one from the four, that becomes a three. Give one to in front of the one, that becomes an 11. Really, you're giving one 10 here, and 10 plus one is 11. 11 minus seven is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, four, three. Minus five is, we can't do that, the three is less. So we need to go over to the next place and take one, give one. Um, if we take one from the eight, that becomes a seven. And if we give one of those 100s, give one, that would become 13. So 13 minus five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have eight. And seven minus nothing is seven. So 784 is our difference. Okay, that's a big subtraction word. Let's try number two. 591 minus 399. Starting with the ones place. One minus nine is, we can't do it. We need to take one, give one. Take one from the nine, that becomes a, an eight. Give one to this one, that becomes an 11. 11 minus nine is two. Eight minus nine is, we can't do it. We need to take one, give one. Take one from the five, that becomes a four. Give one to the eight, that becomes 18. 18 minus nine is nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've got nine fingers, so it's nine. And four minus three is one. So our difference here is 192. All right, I would like for you to go ahead and try number three, just number three on your own. All right, we are back and ready to go over number three. So we had 447 minus 389. Now, what did you do first? Right, you gotta line them up. So let's go ahead and write 447 minus 
nine. I've got my nine in my ones place, eight in my tens place, three in my hundreds place. Now what do we do? Right, we do seven minus eight, but wait a second, we can't do that. So we need to take one, give one. So take one from the four, that becomes a three. Give one to the seven, that becomes a 17. Now you might wanna cross that out and write 17 on top. That's totally cool with me too. I like to just put it right there in front. But if you like crossing it off and making it 17, that's cool with me too. Let me pound out for nine and count up to 17. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's eight. Did you get eight? If not, make sure that you fix your answer, okay? All right, three minus eight is, we can't do it. We need to take one, give one. Take the hundred and give it to the three. That becomes one, 13 now, 13 tens. So we have 13 tens minus eight, which is five. And three minus three is zero. So really the answer is just 58. We don't need the zero in front. It could just be like that. That's the, this is the best way to write it right there, 58. Okay, so how did you do on this one? Yeah, okay, well go ahead and record it in your notes for growth if you made any mistakes at all. Okay, this is a safe place to make mistakes, but we have to use those mistakes to help us learn and grow. So identify what was your mistake and record that in your notes for growth so you don't make that mistake next time, okay? Um, I would like for you to go ahead and try number four and number five. Press pause, solve it on your own, and then press play. Come back and see me when you are ready to go over it, okay? Alrighty, we are back with number four and number five. Let's see how you did. Be ready to participate with me. So first we have, read it with me, we have 408, not and eight, just eight. 408 minus 319. Let's go ahead and write that down. So now, eight minus nine is, what do you mean we can't do it? Why can't we do that? Right, because eight is less than nine. So we need to take one, give one. So let's go next door and there's a zero. So if there's a zero, we can't take anything away from something that's zero. We need to go to the hundreds place. So take one from the four, that becomes a three, okay? Give the one over here, so that becomes a 10. I like to put the one right in front, but if you cross it out and write 10 on top, that's cool too. And now we go back. So eight minus nine is, we still can't do that. But now, now we can take something from the 10. So take one from the 10, that becomes a nine. Give one to the eight, that becomes an 18. And 18 minus nine is nine. Okay, what is nine minus one? Eight. And what is three minus three? Zero. So we really don't even need to write that. We could just leave it right there as 89. Let's try number five. So we have 600 minus 188. Zero minus eight is, we can't do it. But we don't have anything next door either to take one, so what do we do? We can take one from the six, you're right. Take one from the six, that becomes a five. Give one to the zero, that becomes a 10. And now we need to do that again. Take one from the 10, that becomes a nine, and now we can help this zero out. Boom, 10 minus eight is two. Nine minus eight is one. 
five minus one is four. Awesome, so we have 412. Okay, go ahead and jot down any notes that you need to in your notes for growth, and we have one more thing to do. You know what time it is, it's a moment in time. We are given the time 3.30, and we have to put that correctly, place the hands correctly, on our clock. So we know that the three right here, is that the hour or the minute? Right, the hour. And 30 would be our minutes. Good, so let's start with our minutes, and that is the minute hand, the long hand, or the short hand? Right, the minute hand is the longer word, so it's the longer hand. So we have to find where there are 30 minutes and place that longer hand. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, boom, right there at the six. Okay, directly at that six, boom. Okay, now our minute hand has gone halfway around the clock. That means when it comes to my hour, I need to be halfway between three and the next number, which is four. So let's find that. Ooh, here's three, and here's our next number four. So let's draw a little small hand, smaller hand, about halfway between those two. And boom, there you got it. That is 3.30, y'all. All right, I will see you on day 21 for some more subtraction, okay? Bye.